One of the things that I have been looking at recently has been how I might look at building a top-down system inside of some kind of productivity tool. I have been wondering if there's a way to do this in Obsidian or using another tool, but I, and in my research, I stumbled across this awesome uh, vault that Christian Bagger Bach, forgive me if I totally butchered your name, uh, but he's constructed using a number of plugins inside of Obsidian. I wanna take a look at that today, just to see how this is put together and to show you some of the power of what you can do inside of Obsidian. All right, so here on the screen, I've got Christian's website. Uh, how do I manage projects and goals in Obsidian? This is a really unique idea because it leverages the data view plugin, which allows it to pull in different segments of information from different parts of your vault using the queries uh, involved. So you can see that he's got this dashboard where you can pull, pull in goals and projects. We'll take a look at this in the vault in just a second. What's really cool though, is that it's a very minimal plugin vault. There's a few different ones that help. The minimal theme is what enables the card view uh, that you see in the screenshots up here. But then there's also the contextual typography, which is necessary for the usage of minimal. Data view plugin, uh, the Kanban plugin, and then two plugins that Christian has offered, uh, the quick add plugin, which automates the creation of the goals and projects. It's like a macro plugin, which is pretty neat. And then meta edit, which edits the metadata or YAML front matter in the note to reflect the status of a Kanban board. Now these two plugins have a little bit more power and use than what's covered in this vault, but I thought it was an interesting uh, primer on how it works. But basically, if you wanna get involved, and we'll have a link to the, this in the description, uh, you can download this demo vault to see how it's all put together. Let's head on over to the vault and we can take a look at that. Okay, so this is Christian's demo vault. Uh, we'll open up the side pane over here so you can see. It's pretty simple. There's a goals folder, projects folder, templates, views, and then three notes, dashboard, goals, and project board. The dashboard is really just a couple of data view queries, uh, but with the minimal theme, you can set the CSS classes here uh, cards, cards one one, and table wide to show the data view results that are in a table format in uh, this card setup, which is really, really handy. Uh, if we just go in here, you can see what this data view block looks like. It's just a simple table query, uh, which creates the link to the file as the title. Uh, it pulls in the progress bar for the goals from goal. So it's just pulling from the tag goal where progress does not equal target. Uh, so that's basically saying where the progress value in the goal note is not equal to the target. So anything that's not complete. And then sorting by descending on type. So this is really cool how it pulls this in dynamically. Uh, something interesting that you can do if you wanted to create a goal is all you have to do is hit control or command P uh, in his demo vault, and it's got these quick add actions pinned to the command menu uh, in the command palette. So you can hit add goal or add project. Uh, I'm gonna hit add a project, and it automatically walks you through these prompts, which is really, really fun. So I'm gonna add a project and say, I want to learn Ruby on Rails. This is relating to my goal of test goal subtitle because I like discourse and discourse uses Ruby on Rails. It created that project already over here. You can see it says learn Ruby on Rails. And the other cool thing is that if we go into our project board, it's automatically added to the Kanban board, learn Ruby on Rails and it's associated with the goal that we set. This is really fascinating because the automations that he's created here using the quick add plugin uh, allows for much more easy streamlined creation of these goals, of these projects in here. Otherwise, you would have to click and create a note, manually fill out the template, manually add it to the project board, manually connect it to the goal, and instead, He's just using simple data view queries and some JavaScript 
uh, built into the vault here to create this. So if we go into, let's we'll start back up in goals. You can see the setup here. Uh, he's got just a couple of different Kanban channels. Uh, so we'll go with the test goal that I created. So we have a YAML front matter that's got tags, the alias, uh, so that the, the name of the note can be different from the actual title, uh, which is good because the title differentiates it in the vault. You might have goals at some point or projects at some point that have similar names. You don't want to deal with that. Uh, the type, and we'll get into this, uh, this dynamically updates. We'll get into that in a minute. Progress and the target, the reason, because it's a good idea to track the reasons that you have a goal and then the time span in which you think you want to complete that. This is where it gets interesting here because in this data view snippet area, uh, you can set essentially parameters. So you can automatically query these and try to um, find those. So the bar uses a view progress bar and then uses the file test goal. And then under projects, it's looking at projects and then links and then it pulls them in automatically. So you can see under here, created projects is automatically associated with this data view query. If I hop back over to the project board, we can look at the project that we just created, which is to learn Ruby on Rails. You can see it was created in the to-do category. If I pop in here, you can see tags, projects, the alias is learn Ruby on Rails, uh, status is to-do. And then our goal is test goal. So it's automatically associated up there. Uh, you can create these templates in whatever way you want. I'll show you those templates in just a second. But what's really fascinating is that on this project board, if I move this over to in progress, a couple of things happen. If I wait a second, because it takes a second sometimes to do so and pop back into here, you can see that the status has been updated automatically to in progress. And that's the meta edit plugin. We'll dive into the settings in just a second here, but I wanted to show you this because if we go back to the dashboard, then you can see that now Ruby on learn Ruby on rails is under our active projects because it's looking in this data view query for uh, notes under project where the status equals in progress. It's a really fascinating way to pull in almost database like features into obsidian without building a real database. Let's take a look at the two plugins that are included uh, in this vault that Christian has created. First and foremost, quick add. So you can see we have add goal and add project. Uh, if you wanna actually change or look at these macros, you wanna look at the manage macros button here, not the settings here. Uh, those are a little, um, the user interface isn't 100% clear, but I'll show you it in just a second. But under manage macros, Say we want to look at the add project macro, we'll hit configure. And then there's three steps to it. Create project note, wait for 200 milliseconds, and then capture it to the project board. Looking under the settings for create project note, you can see that we're pulling an automatic template from the project item template in the templates directory. The file name format is set here. Uh, you can pull in values. So if you set value in the note, uh, with this syntax, then it will prompt you when you create the note using the quick add plugin for these values. You can set a folder of where you want to store the note. This one's in the projects. And then under capture to project board, you can set the file name of what you want to set it to. I've also done some testing with this. You can use a variable in here like value area. Say if you're um, working on a specific area, but you don't want to have it all under one board, you can type in that area and say effective remote work or YouTube or work, and then it'll automatically add it to your work project board if it matches this file name. Uh, you want to add it as a task if you're adding it to a board, and then you can add it under a heading which I think is fascinating too. If you're gonna add a quick add um, goal or a quick add macro, to do that, you just type in the name here, test, what, and you go down to macro, and then you add choice. But if you actually wanna so associate it with a macro, you have to hit configure, and then which macro you wanna use, and then click this command button, the lightning bolt. 
that's pretty cool. Under meta edit, this is really neat too because there's a setting for Kanban board helper. If we click on the gear, you can see how it's set up. So you can type in the Kanban board that you want and it'll automatically pull in the possible values from the columns on that board. Then in notes that are linked to that board, you can have them automatically update the status. So like we did under the project board, if you move it from the to-do category to the in-progress column, then it will automatically update the status uh, attribute in the YAML front matter to reflect the name of that. It's really handy to avoid a lot of manual work. One last thing to take a look at here are the templates. There are two in this uh, vault, in this demo vault, one the goal template and the project template. Uh, in here, you can see that there are these values in double curly braces. This is what the quick add plugin uses to prompt you for these values when you're automatically adding them through that plugin. So this one is the name of the goal, the target number, what you wanna reach for the value of it, why that goal, and then if you want to have a drop down where you can choose from a number of options, uh, it can be 10 years, five years in this instance, where you can just create this list. And then our project item template, you've got the same idea here. You've got an alias set up, the project subtitle, and then it just automatically plops these in the directories that you set up in the macro itself, whether it's goals for the goals, projects for projects. So what do you think about this? I think this is a really interesting approach to managing tasks and managing projects inside of Obsidian. However, is it worth the extra hassle versus using a tool like Notion or a dedicated task manager like Todoist? I'm up in the air on that yet. But for those of you who are interested in digging in and configuring and tweaking with Obsidian to your heart's content, this very well may be an option to make Obsidian a productivity tool of choice for you.